Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Gems of Knowledge. So I am here with another question regarding the exercise 1.3 from class 9th number system. So I hope you remember the second, first and second problem which we have solved in our previous video regarding the exercise 1.3. If you are unaware of it, the link will be provided into the description box. You can go and watch it. So in today's video, we are going to solve the uh, question number 3 which is written as express the following in the form P by Q where P and Q are integers and Q is not equals to 0. Okay, so in that 3 questions are given that is 0 0.6 with a bar. Second one is 0 0.47 and the bar is only present on the 7. It means only 7 is repeated here. And the third question is given as 0 0.01 with a bar. So let us solve the first question over here. So the first question is given as uh, 0 0.6 with a bar. So let, let our x is equals to 0 0.6 with a bar which is equal to 0 0.666 and so on let it be as equation one so as you can see after point only one number is present so what we are going to do is we are going to multiply x's, uh, this equation one with 10 why we are taking only 10 because after point there is only one number so we have to multiply it by the smallest one digit zero number okay which is nothing but 10 so what we will do here we will multiply after multiplying this what we are going to get 10 into x is 10x which is equals to 10 into 0 0.666 so when you are multiplying this number with 10 what you are going to get is 6.66 and so on you are going to get let it be equation 2 then what we are going to do is let us subtract okay subtract 2 minus 1 okay what we have to do we have to subtract equation 2 minus 1 it means 10x minus x so it will be 10x this is equation 1 left hand side of equation 2 and left hand side of equation 1 so we have to subtract this 10x minus x on the right hand side what we are getting 6.66 minus 0.66 so 6.66 so on it is subtracted by 0 0.666 and so on so i'll just show you how it uh, takes here 6.666 you are having and when you are subtracting 0 0.666 so on here also it is so on so 6 minus 6 will be 0 here also you are getting 0 here also you are getting 0 point 6 minus 0 will be 6 so you are left with 6 here and this side 10x minus x is 9x you are getting okay so x is equals to 6 divided by 9 so if you divide it by 2 table sorry 3 table you are going to get 3 2s are 6 and 3 3s are 9 so your x is nothing but equals to 2 by 3 okay so this is in the form of p by q as you can see here p by q this is also in the form of p by q where p and q both are integers and your q this q is not equals to zero this was about the first one similarly you are going to solve the second one let me solve here okay so this also here also you need to take x is equals to 0 0.47 with a bar it means it is equals to 0 0.4777 and so on so let us take this as equation 1 already okay you have to take it as equation 1 then again you need to multiply it by 10 why only 10 here because you can see the bar is only on the single number so what you need to do you need to take here 10x which is equals to okay this also must be multiplied by 10 only so what you are getting if you multiply it by 10 you are getting it as 4.7 okay so this is your equation 2 then again you need to subtract that is equation 2 minus 1 you have to do so if you do it what you are going to get is 10x minus x is nothing but 9x which is equals to 4.7 minus 0 0.47 here also it is 7777 7, 7, 7, and it is so on 
so when you minus 2 minus 1 what you are going to get here 10x minus x you are getting 9x okay so you can see here 4.777 minus 0.4777 let me subtract it here itself so 4.777 okay and here you need 0.477 and 77 will go on so when you minus this you are getting 7 minus 7 is 0 and 7 minus 7 is 0 and 7 minus 4 is 3 point will be as it is and 4 minus 0 is 4 so you got here the answer as 4.3 so you will write here 4.3 3 answer will be 4.3 so you can see x is equals to 4.3 divided by 9 so you are getting x value to be as 4.3 divided by 9 so as you can see a decimal point is present here we need to remove that decimal point okay so as you can see after a decimal point only one number is given so we have to multiply it by 10 the smallest two digit number okay so what you are getting is 4.3 into 10 and when you are multiplying something with a uh, 10 or any other number uh, when you are multiplying a numerator with a with any other number you need to multiply denominator also with the same number so what you are getting when you multiply this you are getting instead of 4.3 into 10 you are getting 43 and 9 tens are 90 you are getting so what is the value of x here 43 divided by 90 okay then you can see we'll move on to the third question here which is given as 0 0.001 okay so that's all the answer here second one so we'll move on to the third one that is 0 0.001 with a bar okay so it means you can see here let me write it here third one is 0 0.001 with a bar okay and the bar is on three numbers so it means all the three numbers are getting repeated 0 0.001 again 001 and the number will be going on so let us consider our x to be as 0 0.001001 and so on so this will be our equation one then what we have to do here is you can see after point there are three numbers okay after point there are three numbers so we need to multiply this number equation one with a three digit number so three digit smallest number which is thousand okay thousand is nothing but the smallest three digit sorry four digit number okay so three zero number so what we have to do here is into x which is equals to when you multiply these you are getting when you multiply this whole term with thousand you are getting 1.001 okay so how you are getting this see here you you are having three zeros it means your point will be moved to the three numbers this is one two and three numbers so after one you are getting your point so this is your equation two then what you need to do is subtract equation 2 minus 1. So after subtraction what you are getting 1000x minus x you are getting 1000x minus x is 1000 minus 1. You are getting 999x which is equals to 1.001 minus all this. Okay so let me solve here. 1.001 okay and so on. It must be subtracted. 0 0.001 and so on so what you are getting here 1 minus 1 is 0 0 0 point you are getting and 1 minus 0 will be 1 so you are getting the answer to be as 1 so what will be the value of x it is nothing but 1 divided by 999 so this is the answer for the third question all the three questions have been solved here okay so that's all for this video the next question will be solved into the next video so till then don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel and i'll be back soon with another video so till then stay tuned and stay connected thank you